One of the most beautiful places in the world, Rome, might be small in size, but it has a lot to offer for the eye that has never viewed this location before. However, it can get quite intimidating for a first-time visitor to figure out which places to add to their bucket list. Maybe you're someone who's planning on going to Rome for the first time, or maybe you would like to visit again to catch up on some spots you missed before. Whatever the case may be, we're once again back with more informative and fun content for you. Today, we'll be outlining the top 10 places you should visit and things that you should do when in Rome. The best part about this list is that we have made sure to make it customized for every one of you, whatever you're visiting with your lover, your children, your family or friends. So, let's get into it. Number 1. Trevi Fountain One of the most visited spots in Rome, Guess gained its popularity because of the fountain. While you might think that you can see a fountain anywhere else in the world as well, but what you should know is that this is the most famous fountain found in all of Europe. Built in the year 1762, this fountain was constructed by Nicola Salvi and has the tone of legendary tales attached to it. Since it is such a loved place, there are various weddings taking place around it. Not just that, but there is another legend that makes it so famous. Legend has it that a visitor should throw two coins in the fountain, one for their good luck and one so that they could return to Rome soon. Other than the legendary tales, this fountain also has a magnificent and lavish sculpture with amazing details. To add more charm to the entire place, there is a huge baroque palace that you wouldn't want to miss. Number 2. Colosseum If you ever ask someone to get you a souvenir from Rome, the first thing you will be receiving is a magnet in the form of the ever so famous Colosseum. You can't expect to go to Rome and not visit the beautiful structure of the Colosseum. This is one of the most famous landmarks not just in Rome, but in the rest of the world as well. This ever so famous landmark is famously known as the Flavian Amphitheater by the locals and by history lovers. A huge reason why this location is famous is that it was built back in 70 to 80 AD and has been the center of attention for decades now. Over 80,000 spectators have been at one time all been in this location. The huge size can also be gauged from the fact that it was used often by the Romans for entertainment which included games, gladiator matches and other events. Number 3. Pantheon Next up on our list is the renowned Pantheon. The Pantheon is one such location in all of Rome that has been known to be the most preserved spot. This is another location like the Colosseum that is a must-see and should never be ignored. Back in the old days, going back to the 7th century, this dome-like structure was a church, but the best part is that today it is still free of cost and you won't have to pay a dime to get in. The internal architecture of the church is unique and with a ton of lighting for photography purposes. Inside, other than the major elements, tourists also have the opportunity to take a look at the tombs of several ancient important people, including the first king of Italy, Victor Emmanuel, and the famous artist Raphael as well. There is a porch right in front of the Pantheon as well, which would make a great spot for photography and relaxation. Number 4. Spanish Steps while we're on the topic of steps for relaxation, we can't miss out on the ever so famous Spanish steps. These steps are hard to miss considering how important of a position they hold in the world of tourism. Not just this, but geographically as well. These steps are present right in the Piazza Trinita dei Monti and the Piazza di Spagna. These are a total of 135 steps that we designed and built back in 1725. This was done to lessen the gap between the two squares we just mentioned. Who would have known that such a simple architectural touch would turn out to be such a famous spot centuries later? 
At the beginning and the bottom there is Piazza di Spagna, while right at the top there is a huge crucifix. Here you can rest around at the cafes or even shop a little. All in all, the Spanish steps are a pretty fulfilling tourist spot with history, culture, sculptures and activity for relaxation as well. Number 5. Sistine Chapel The Sistine Chapel is one location that is often shown in movies because of its stunning beauty. Often referred to as one of the masterpieces by the famous artist Michelangelo, Sistine Chapel is a great treasure for the Vatican City. Though many things have given it its popularity, it is also notable that this location is where various popes have been crowned here. However, the most famous thing about this chapel is the art that can be found on the walls and the ceilings. This chapel was constructed back in 1473 under the rule of Pope Sixtus IV. It is said that different artists, including Michelangelo, Luxa and Botticelli, spent a huge amount of time bringing these walls and the ceiling to the glory we witness today. On one ceiling, you will find the image known as Creation of Adam and The Last Judgment, etc. As of today, there is only knowledge about one major work that was involved in the construction of this chapel, and that the famous Giovanni of Dolci. Number 6. Palatine Hill Are you looking for a spot from where you could absorb history, culture, as well as some scenic views? If yes, then we have just the place for you. Add the Palatine Hills to your bucket list. This spot is known today as one of the most ancient landmarks in all of Rome. To get you a quick understanding of the history that lies beneath this hill, it is said that the legendary Remus and Romulus are involved in the tales of this location. Legends are that this is the place where these two were located. It is after this that they choose to create Rome. At Palatine Hill, you will find famous spots including the Temple of Cybele and the Flavian Palace. As soon as you climb to the top of the hill, you can see the wonders of nature that await you. Number 7. Roman Forum Any of you who is a fan of ruins would be glad to visit this spot for this is one of the most essential ruins that you can find in all of Rome. Here, there are tons of ruins scattered all over the place that are a reminder of the political life that existed in the times of the Romans. Not only the ruins, but there are various other things to explore as well, including arches, squares and temples which include the temple of Vesta, Titus, Saturn, etc. If you're interested in paying a visit to this location, then we suggest you do it right when you're visiting the Colosseum, as both of these are located close by. Moreover, be sure to allocate plenty of time to this spot, as there is a lot for you to explore here. The ruins of the Roman Forum will show how the ancient markets and religious buildings used to be like, so don't miss out! Number 8 Arch of Constantine. Here is a location that is known for the historic importance it holds. The Arch of Constantine, as the name indicates, was created to dedicate it to Emperor Constantine. This was done to commemorate the victory he had obtained at the famous Battle of Milvian Bridge. Once again, similar to the Roman Forum, this is another place you can visit while visiting the Colosseum as it is located next to it. As the history at the beginning must have indicated, this arch was constructed in 315 AD and stands tall even today after so many centuries with the initial details intact. Once you have taken a look at the structure from far, be sure to take a deeper look at it, where you will be able to spot artwork ranging from different themes. This will include war scenes, images of prisoners, artwork relating to soldiers and other inscriptions. Since it is 21 meters tall, we suggest you allocate an ample amount of time for this spot. Number 9. Fontana dei Quattro Fiumi 
Here we bring for you another huge fountain that you surely wouldn't want to miss out on. This fountain is located right in the middle of the Piazza Navona and has some detailing that we urge you to look for yourself. Like all other places, sculptures and spots in Rome, this fountain too is full of history as it was made in the year 1651 for Pope Innocent X. To dedicate it to him, this fountain was built right outside his palace, which is known as the Pamphili Palace. Upon close inspection, you will be able to see that the fountain shows an image of four different gods all of the water. All four of these parts of the fountain are designed in such a way to pay a tribute to the famous rivers Nile, Ganges, Danube and Rio de la Plata. Number 10. Galleria Borghese Lastly on our list, we have the Galleria Borghese. When in Rome, it would be unwise to make a visit and not take a look at the art that their galleries here hold. One famous gallery you should visit is the Galleria Borghese. The reason why out of all others we include this one is because of the ton of antiques, paintings and sculptures present here. Sure, the interior is something that you won't be able to miss, but the exterior is no less. Built in the year 1903, this place is situated in the north of the city and can be accessed through the Via Pinciana Road. Right in front, you will find various statues and decorative pieces, while the inside has a total of 20 rooms, all containing stunning art pieces. And that was it for today. Those were the top 10 important things you should do once you are in Rome. Make sure to allocate your time wisely so that you don't miss out on any location. Comment down below and let us know your favorites. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Till then, goodbye!